We are here with Dante from the San Francisco Shock following probably the closest 4-0 to ever happen in Overwatch League. The yeah. score definitely didn't reflect the way the games were played, at least from the spectator's seat here. But what do you think, Dante? How do you feel about your team's play in that series? I feel like it was really unfortunate. Anubis, we were... If Sleepy had his trans 1% earlier, we would have probably full held, and then it would have been like a completely different tempo for the rest of the match. Maybe Blizz World would have went a little differently, because like... Maybe they'd be a little defeated, like like mentally, and we'd be boosted mentally. Like that always goes into play. And yeah, um, Blizzworld was also unlucky. We didn't really know how to react to the triple tank on the first um, defense, so we messed that up a lot. And then Ilios is kind of just like not the best map for us because um, we didn't have a Widow player in at the time because like we want to play Stormbird Tracer on the other two maps, so. Ruins is always um, not favorable for us if we play the people we played. And Junkertown um, is kind of close, went both to overtime, or like went to overtime. So I would say it was like a really close match, but just a bunch of chokes and we messed up a lot. Yeah, but you guys definitely looked a lot cleaner, I would say. This is a very, very good week for you guys as far as your level of performance goes and your level of play. In fact, uh, this is your first week with your new main tank, Super, in the lineup, and you guys look way more coordinated around the dives. What's it been like kind of having him in the main roster now and uh, executing these dives around his play? Um, he's very vocal, which helps a lot, and he's like always looking to dive. Sometimes it can be bad, but most of the time, diving is always good. It's better than like what we did before. We play really, really passive. Was he nervous at all, given that his first week and, you know, there's maybe some kind of expectations on him to kind of come in and kind of be sort of a game changer for your team in that way. Was that affecting him at all? Um, I don't know, like, 100% if it, if it was, um, but I'd imagine there's some pressure and then, like, it just depends on, him, like, his mindset. I, I don't know, like, everyone's different. Like, some people feel pressured, some people don't. But from what he said, he, like, he was only nervous, like, the first two maps he played. Dante, another reason why people are talking about the Shock a lot right now aren't because, yes, Sinatra's on the team, Super's on the team, but people are talking a lot about you because of your proficiency with Sombra in the DPS role and yeah. looking at you to kind of be an example of a top-tier Sombra DPS player in the league given her changes recently. Is that something that's been on your mind for Stage 3? Do you feel like there's some extra pressure on you? Um, I feel like games, well, like, people are, like, regarding me as, like, uh, the best Sombra and, like, one of the best, so it kind of, like, if I have like a bad game, then it's like people like expect like a lot more. So it's it's kind of pressuring in that like manner. Cause like if you're like just having a bad game, like it happens to everyone. Like if they focus you on Sombra, like you really can't do that much. But um, I think I did decent on like decent today. Besides the Anubis game, um, I, I couldn't get in on Sombra because they would always just pressure me out of the flanks. And the way the hero works, it's like really hard to like get away because like I didn't want to put my TP all the way back main because then that's too much off time so I had to put it somewhere near and they were always able to push me out. Do you think that Sombra as a whole like uh, in regards to the competitive meta is a little bit over tuned in what she can accomplish on her own? No I don't think so really at all. I think she's in a really solid spot because um good team play overall um counters Sombra it's like it's just how you take the fights and it's how your team picks the fights and how the other team takes the fights. Like, there's some people um, that, like, really aren't good at Sombra, and it's, like, really um, noticeable because they're just the things they do, they don't get much done. It's kind of like a hero like Widow. Like, the best um, players on it will make her look really, really strong, but she can be really weak sometimes. Speaking of strong Widow play, you guys brought in Baby Bay for Junkertown in the last map, put up a good performance there. You guys kind of now have these three DPS players switching out. We see mostly you and Sinatra, but Baby Bay comes in for those great hit scan maps and that kind of thing. Do you find that there's kind of an advantage even off of the uh, off the map, so to speak, in which now having another guy who's a DPS player in the house? Is there been anything changed in the clubhouse now that you guys kind of are like a triple DPS squad, so to speak? Uh, it's really good, the fact that we can play different people to different strengths, like certain people on certain maps. Like, for example, like Anubis, um, it's a lot of Genji Tracer and Genji, or Sombra Tracer and like maybe Genji Sombra a little bit. So a map like that isn't really favored to Baby Bay since he's like, he doesn't play flankers, he plays Hitscan and Farah. 
So, but then like we can put Bebe on maps like Junker Town, where he can like have his best performance. So I think it's really advantageous to have options like that. Dante, thank you so much for the interview. Like I said, score didn't reflect the actual level of play that we saw here today, especially that was a fantastic first half. So is there anything that you'd like to say to the SF Shock fans after this impressive first week of play for you and your team? Um, Sorry about the loss. We'll definitely do better next week. Um, sometimes it happens. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out our channel for more action-packed content. Also, like and share this video, and click the subscribe button to join our notification squad. Thanks for watching.